السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome back with a new lecture with accredited laboratory Today will be a very easy lecture But on the same time Will be very important for you If you are lab analyst or student And also after that inshallah It will be a good reference for you When you will prepare standards Or other solutions inside the lab First standard preparation how to prepare your standards inside the lab even if you have liquid or powder standards standard solution which is a solution with known concentration can be prepared by dissolving a primary standard in a suitable solvent primary standard in a suitable solvent so you want to dissolve the primary standard to get the standard solution you have primary standards and the secondary standards. When you will buy your standards, you will find primary standards and secondary standards. But always go for primary standards because it has a high purity and less reactivity. When exposed to the atmosphere, it has a less reactivity with the atmosphere. Less purity and high reactivity is for the secondary standard so if you will buy your standards go always for the primary standards if you can do this and also your standards can be liquid or powder if you want to prepare your calibration standards from liquid standard in this case you will use this equation cv equals cv and you know this equation cv for the standard that you will prepare equal to cv for the stock standard that you have so example if you have a stock standard 10 bpm and you want to prepare calibration standards 1 5 10 25 50 and 100 bpm in this case you will dilute 10 bpm to have 1 bpm so as here 1 bpm multiplied you will dilute in 10 ml flask 10 ml flask from 10 bpm 10 bpm 10 milligram per liter so you will add 1 ml 1 ml in the flask from 10 bpm 1 ml from 10 bpm plus 9 ml suitable solvent the solvent used then from 1 bpm you will prepare your calibration standards 100 bb multiplied but you will prepare here in 1 ml hplc vial from 1 bpm equal to 100 microliter you will add 100 microliter plus 90 plus 900 microliter from the solvent 50 bb also in 1 ml hplc vial from 1 bpm and 25 also in 1 ml from 1 bpm here 50 microliter and here 25 microliter plus 950 microliter plus 975 microliter solvent so and from these standards you will the you will dilute and get at the beginning you have 10 bb also in one ml hplc vial from 100 bb from 100 bb and 5 bb in one ml from 50 bb and one bb in one ml from 10 bb that you have all of this you will add for all of them 100 microliter 100 microliter for each one to prepare serial dilution like this but if you have solid or powder standard in this case you can use this equation weight equal to cv divided by purity in percentage multiplied to 10,000. see which concentration you want to prepare multiply to the volume in which volume you want to prepare your standard divided by purity purity of the stock standard which is powder standard multiply to 10,000 10,000 to convert percentage to ppm milligram per liter in the certificate for each solid standard you will have a purity for this standard 99 percentage 98 percentage or whatever but you should calculate at the beginning the exact purity for the compound sometimes you will have compounds which contain water 
or mix it with hydrochloride HCl or mix it with any other chemical so in this case you have to calculate the exact purity for, for your compound only without these mixing compounds as we have in this example how to calculate the exact purity for your compound and after that how to prepare stock solution from the solid or powder standard in this example we have tetracycline hydrochloride which is antibiotic Molecular weight for this compound equal to 480.9 gram per mole and the purity as found in the certificate 98 percentage. At the beginning you will calculate the exact molecular weight for this compound in 98 percentage. Molecular weight equal to 480.9 molecular weight multiplied to 98 percentage divided by 100 equal to 471.282 gram per mole. Then you will calculate the molecular weight for this compound but without hydrochloride for only tetracycline so it will be equal to 480.9 minus 36.46 for HCl equal to 444.44 gram per mole then you will calculate the purity the exact purity exact purity equal to the molecular weight without HCl divided by molecular weight in 98 percentage for this compound with HCl multiplied to 100 equal to 94.3 percentage you will use this purity in this equation to prepare the stock solution from the powder standard for in this equation weight equal to 100 milligram per liter if you want to prepare 100 ppm 100 milligram per liter multiplied to 10 ml if you want to prepare 100 ppm in 10 ml flask divided by purity 94.3 exact purity for tetracycline without hydrochloride multiplied to 10,000 to convert it to be converted to ppm equal to 0 0.106 gram in 10, 10 ml flask in 10 ml flask so if you dissolve if you dissolve 0 0.106 gram from your powder standard in 10 ml from the suitable solvent you will get 100 ppm from this standard 100 milligram per liter another example doxycycline isolate molecular weight of this compound 512.94 gram per mole and purity as in the certificate 99.1 percentage first you will calculate the molecular weight of this compound in this purity 512.94 multiplied to 99.1 percent divided by 100 equal to this molecular weight then you will calculate the molecular weight of this compound but without isolate doxycycline only equal to 512.94 minus 68.51 for high, molecular weight for isolate equal to 444.43 gram per mole then you will calculate the purity the exact purity for doxycycline in this standard equal to 44 in this one molecular weight without isolate divide by molecular weight in the in 99.1 percentage multiplied 200 equal to 87.43 percentage then you will use this purity to calculate the weight that you will get you will add from the powder standard you will prepare as example you want to prepare 100 milligram per liter in 10 10 ml flask divided by 87.43 multiplied to 10,000 so you will dissolve 0.01144 gram from this standard in 10, 10 ml in 10 ml to get 100 ppm concentration from this standard stock solution that's enough for today and inshallah in the next lecture we will prepare other solutions inside the lab thank you and see you in the next lecture inshallah assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh